Welcome to Halo 3 Master Blaster Deathless. It's Halo 3 on Legendary with the Master Blaster Skull active. I did a video last week covering Halo 2, and uh, so if you're unfamiliar with the challenge, you can go check that video out. But um, I'm going to go over the basics starting out, and then I'm going to give you the specifics level by level. So this is a co-op challenge. So requires at least two people. You can do it with more, but the skull is kind of broken. It doesn't exactly work. So uh, anyway, I did it with two people. And you have the overshield guy and you have the no shield guy. So the overshield guy, three layers of shield, massive tank. This is the guy that is going to be running through as many sections as possible. Holy shit! Fucking run! Now, the caveat with the overshield guy, he can't shoot at all. Well, he can shoot, but only under specific circumstances. So, you have to figure out how to get through <laughs> all of the different levels and different sections without being able to shoot. The specific circumstance required is simply having a weapon that needs to be charged. Now, that only consists, as far as I know, of the plasma pistol and the Spartan laser, but I don't know exactly what is behind the reasoning for that. I don't know if it was just missed or if it's a balancing mechanic. I'm kind of unsure, but it's basically, if you can charge it up, you can shoot it as the overshield guy. So plasma pistol, Spartan laser, we're using it. All right, player two, the other guy, the no shield guy. Now, if you're thinking legendary, not hard, think about doing it with no shield. One shot the entire campaign. I know. AIDS. So, the guy with no shield, he is going to be your guy that's going to be sitting back, taking out enemies from a safe distance. Now, Double no kill. shield guy has infinite ammo, so whatever weapon you have, you are shooting forever. Um, now, this is where the first big difference between Halo 2 and Halo 3 Master Blaster comes in. Now, in this game, you don't have bottomless clip. So you do have to reload unless, for instance, you have a beam rifle, which the beam rifle doesn't have to reload, but it will overheat if you shoot it too fast. On the other hand, though, you do have infinite grenades as the no shield guy. So you can imagine how much fun <laughs> that you can have throwing grenades. I mean, I mean, you can probably clear just about every section in the game if you throw enough grenades. Okay, maybe not. Either way, it's a blast. So the last piece of this Master Blaster challenge is the roll switch. Now, this is a shot in the dark here. This is kind of just what I experienced with this challenge, but it seems like the rolls would switch anywhere between 15 and 25 kills. I'm not, it could be a little bit more. It could, I mean, I've had it even be a little bit less and I, there's something weird that's going on with the Hornet in this, uh, in this run, but we'll, you know, more on that later. The roll switch is 15 to 25 kills. And then at the start of each mission, whoever is the host reverts to the overshield guy. So there will definitely be some tactical switching going on as far as that is concerned. Uh, okay, I think that just about covers everything that you need to know, all of the basics, and either uh, gets everybody that's brand new to it in and displays all of the changes that we needed to cover between Halo 2 and Halo 3. So, all right, let's get into the video. Starting things off with Sierra 117. We got the usual immediate spawn skip at the very beginning. We do a ghost jump off of the rocks to go out of bounds use a little bit of out of bounds movement and we are cruising through this mission. They just let's just go actually. Let's fucking just go. I wanted I wanted to see if I could propel you like forward or not. Like real like just by shooting you in the back. 
I'd have to jump. I think if I was in the air, maybe, but like just a standard thing. Okay, why am I getting? Okay, really, carbine guy, don't do it. Don't you do it, you bitch! No! Oh, I saved it with a late jump. I'm clean. Don't you do it? God, dude, what a catastrophe. Most of this mission is just using the out of bounds to your advantage. This game has been around for quite a while. Oh my goodness! And even though Bungie really tried to limit the out of bounds experience, we have still found a way to make it happen. So most of this is out of bounds, moving around. It's really only got two main combat sections. The sniper forest and the dam clear at the very end. The sniper forest has a few sets of spawns, but nothing really crazy. And you know, the fact that you can dual wield plasma pistols as the OS guy, you can just go in there and you just shred those guys. It's, it's no problem. The final area though is, there's a lot of teamwork that's required in that area. Okay, that's Carbine guy. I'm good, I'm through there. Now I just got, if you see any jackals in my ass right here, by the way, will you get them the fuck off of me? The stupid phantom's gone. There we go. Now the, oh shit. We're even. Long right, as better we're hurry the fuck up. They're running, go. Yeah, yeah. All right, hold on. It would be really fucking nasty, dude, is if you, oh, you can't get the hammer though. Like, imagine you yeah. had, like, an early hammer, and you could just hammer across the broken bridge while I snipe the jackal snipers. Just open up Johnson. Fast as shit. Is that everybody? Everybody else is underneath you, isn't aren't they? Probably. I don't feel like poking. Getting yeah. shit on, so... With some good comms and tactical use of the roll swap, this mission took just over 11 minutes. Crow's Nest is the next mission, and this is the first spot where there's a pretty big change in the effects of the Master Blaster skull between Halo 2 and Halo 3. During the level change, the host, like I mentioned earlier, always gets reset to be the overshield player. This simplifies things because it's just one less variable to have to consider during the run. Most of Crow's Nest is just standard gameplay all the way up to the barracks section. We had a solid plan of attack using the deployable cover to shoot through and a little loading glitch. Basically the load glitch is just don't walk past the green door and the door behind you doesn't close. So if we got into a bad situation, we could retreat. This was the problem. <gasps> what? Jesus Christ. Just... Alright, well, I gotta just try to take these guys out. What the fuck was that? The DC launched the barricade, blowing the entire strat. Thinking on our feet, you know we had to clutch up. We were not dying here, we were surviving, and we were moving on. Where's the chief? Where's chief? He's behind that box on the right. He's thing. dead. Did he drop anything? Yeah. Involm. What? Oh my god. Oh, we cleared that out. Let's go. I aced the hammer launch to skip the prison section, and everything else fell into place. You now. Don't fucking say that, kid. <clears throat> All right, give me two seconds. I'll be right back. All right, one, two. Another mission down, seven more to go. Moving on to Savo. So there are a few things here that are important that we need to make note of. The first one is pay attention to the grunts. The little bastards like to throw grenades and cause problems. Now. Being that you have the overshield, no, the grenade is not going to kill you if it sticks the vehicle. But, well, but, if you're low shield, you're gonna die. The but is, it will flip you into outer space for whatever reason. It's like Sputnik is active, but it'll flip you around and most of the time the enemies around will shoot you and you just, you'll die oh. because 
you won't be able to hit the ground and get away. First thing, make note of that. Now, another thing to pay attention to is carry over for the storm. Basically, you just wanna make sure that you have a fuel rod to carry over. Now, for the overshield guy, you could use a plasma pistol. There's a strategy on storm, but a plasma pistol could be useful, but the focus is the fuel rod. And the last thing that is very important for this mission is that you have full control of any vehicle that you drive, no matter which role that you have. So you get a vehicle as the overshield guy and you are really powerful. You can shoot, you can boost, you can do everything just like you would be able to if it was a standard playthrough. So that is very, very useful. Now, we moved through this mission, drove past many, many of the sections and basically did a despawn at the very end, got a wraith, and then this happened. All right, the uh, chieftain's dead. <gasps> no! Oh my nope. god! Hold on! Hold on! Oh. oh my god. Yeah, I know. Just another day in the office, saving this idiot from being killed. But we survived. Moving on to the storm. Things started off relatively smooth, and this brings me back to another one of the changes that I mentioned earlier. You remember the infinite grenades that I talked about? Yeah. Check this out. Yeah, this is not good. Okay, the chieftain's up top. He just drained himself. Yeah, keep going. Watch the enemies here. Enemies up top. Grunt on the left here. Yep. Yep, I know. I know, it's useful. Throwing that many grenades and not having to worry about it. I know. Nothing else too out of the ordinary for this mission. We do the mongoose clip, warehouse clear, and then jump out of bounds to destroy the AA turret with ease. Now on to Floodgate, one of the easiest missions in this game made even easier, featuring the overshield. Well, at least that's what we thought. Messed up the jump. I'm here, go ahead, I'm here. Shotgun guy in my ass. Oh, I'm getting SMG'd. Holy fuck, I just got SMG, like 10 SMG shots. How am I alive right now? Then, shortly after getting SMG'd in the ass crack. Here we go, not dying. Yes. Now I'm dead, because he's, no! he's not gonna die. Now god I'm dead. Fuck. God. Oh, God. Uh, I hate when I shoot Flood in the face a million times and they just keep looking at you. It just does not die, dude. Fuck <laughs> uh, me, man. Well, I guess Josh has plot armor too. Closing things out on Floodgate, we've got a new out of bounds path that skips the entire ending lake bed section. And with that, the arc awaits. Okay, so I just want to point this out here. We're on the arc in an hour on a deathless run where one of us has no shield. What the hell is going on here? Well, I'm not complaining. Being that the Ark is one of the hardest missions, it was time to get serious. This run had the potential to go the distance. But, of course, right away, things go awry. All of the enemies used up all of the bubble shields that we needed. Time to clutch up. <sighs> Oh my god, I barely made it. You made it? Oh, thank I god. made it. I'm getting a carbine in my back, but I fucking made it. Holy fuck. I got it. Oh, okay. Alright. If you know Halo 3, you know how many enemies were back there. The next few areas went according to plan as we set up the Dawn Teleport. 
I don't know exactly why this happens, but because we skipped a couple of triggers in an earlier section, the game teleports us back to that load area after the dawn drops in. This allows us to skip a bunch of enemies and proceed straight to the wall clear. Again, I'm unfamiliar with exactly why we get a teleport in co-op here, because it doesn't happen in solo, but dude, you better believe I'm taking advantage of it. The great thing about this challenge is that the Master Blaster Skull, again, doesn't affect vehicles in any way. They're fully operational and that is huge for this level. It's, it's trapped down bottom mid. I got one. I got another. Hop back in that fucking tank, dude. I'm coming, dude. Woo! Oh, well, that was a little There's hectic. A rug, right? Careful of the switch here. You're getting fuel rotted. Hold on, let me hit the load before you don't kill anybody else. Let me just hit the load and I'm gonna back up. Mm -hmm. I'm stuck! I'm helping oh, you. No, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well, would you look at that? Nothing like shit going wrong in a Halo challenge run, eh? All right there. Shit going wrong. It's my favorite. Woo! All right, dude. But I guess it wouldn't be a challenge run if it was easy, though. So, okay. Time for one of the hardest parts of the run. There's a very tight quarters room, followed by spawning in front of a phantom shooting, and then right back into that same exact room. This section is dreadful for the no shield player. It couldn't get any worse, right? Wrong. I got a fucking, I got a potty as well, dude. Fuck. Hold on. Let me potty so there's no distractions. God, come on! <laughs> Hold on. Right. Dude, mute your mic. I don't want to hear you pissing in the fucking headset, kid. Alright, fine. Uh, we got a problem. I'm stuck. Oh. I'm actually stuck. I can't get out of here. Uh, dude, were you like jumping around instead of sitting there like a normal person? Yeah, I'm actually stuck. I can't get out of here. Thankfully, I was able to get unstuck and the phantom behaved. So as far as this section goes, we are two for two. The problem now is that we have one hallway to work out of. And all it takes is one grenade and the run's over. Oh shit, oh. whoa. That is the last uh, Marine. I hope our Marines aren't mad at us. Oh yeah, that's right, he is the last one. We don't get any more. <laughs> okay. I can't shoot because Oppo's fucking shits it. Okay, hold on. Okay. okay, we got the reinforcement, guys. Okay, let me let me peek. Let me peek. I don't want to run into you. Smaller, smaller. Careful. Oh god. Both smaller guys are dead. Let me peek. Remember, the fucking turret guy's dead. Shit, turret though. guy's dead. We made it. We got past the camo hall, and the final clear is super consistent in co-op. Very easy combo, grenade out strats, abuse the invincibility, abuse the invisibility. There's plenty of options for the end, no problem. And now we get to the covenant. Okay, I got the brew shot guy. Just careful of the switch here, careful of the switch here. Yeah. One sniper, one jackal dead. Dead, that's it.
Not even five seconds into the Covenant, and we're already doing our first skip, beach skip. Basically, you don't have to fight anything in the very beginning. You can just walk around. You follow the trail up the mountain and follow that up with the barrier break using the ghost, and we are moving straight into the first tower. The first tower clear went according to plan, and we exited the tower without any issue either. Moving on to the aerial battle section. Something note here that just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, and I touched on it a little bit earlier, but it's shooting the rockets of the Hornet counts as a kill. Or another example, boosting in the chopper counts as a kill. Why? I don't know, man. Don't ask me. I just abuse it. We do use this at the start of the third tower clear for a tactical roll switch. But before we could even think about it, this happened. I got yeah, we're gonna at this we're guy. gonna need to rocket this thing. Here come more banshees. Careful there. There's a switch. Oh. Oh. Got it. Okay, let's switch again. He's dead. Yep. Yeah, I got the wraith in the middle. That's who I'm I'm focusing right now. Oh my god, I'm dead. Thank god we just switched. Holy shit, I got stuck on a damn barrier. Talk about timing. After that was the third tower clear, and then the setup for the time travel skip to bypass the double scarab fight. But then my heart stopped. Okay. Just slow play. This is the same as usual. Now we just gotta switch so I don't have to worry about a switch later. Not him. Careful. Careful. I'm dead. There he is. Come on! Get back! Back it up! <laughs> God! Hold on. Let me... What do I have here? Snipe, just laser me, this I'm kid. I'm lasering him. What the fuck? Am, I'm lasering him. Another inch. And Josh was done. But thanks to his quick reflexes... We were still alive, barely. This brings us to the Citadel interior, where we have plenty of room to work with and we could get refocused for Cortana, the most RNG mission of this challenge. See, the last time we got to Cortana, MCC crashed and we lost our run three hours in. No, I didn't set up anything by the doors. Okay. All right. All right, Mahler grabbed the door. Yeah. I missed. No way! I'm never... Josh, are you in this game or what? We just lagged out. I'm done. I'm fucking getting off. If we lag, I'm offline. That's it. See ya. I'm off. So this time, we were hyper-focused to beat this as efficiently as possible. All right. So we're at seven. Seven Death from seven. the uh, shit exploding. I don't go past the wire so I can get my camo. Yep, 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 yep. Am I using my camo or am I saving it? Uh, I thought you were gonna use it at the top. I'm trying to think if like, I need to or not. Is that, you throw a bubble there. I mean, you can just hold on to it. Did I just go past this fucking thing? I just went past the wall. Fuck! Dude, god damn it. Dude, you distracted me while I was walking up. I wasn't even thinking. God. It's gone. It's gone. I went too far. Yep. I screwed it up again. This isn't run ending, but what happened here was I hit a load zone and despawned some equipment that we could have used. That's what the problem was. It was an invisibility. But right after that, I had to kill one. Go ahead. I'm ready to move in. Uh-oh. I might have to move in early. Okay, no. Careful. Okay. Let me pop this. Oh, God. Wait. <sighs> Shit! What do you mean, wait? 
I had to. Okay, we got you it. Switch. We, yeah, we got. I'm running through. So there was a tank form. Like he wasn't rushing me because I was in the hallway, but he could stare at me, and he turned into the Archer Flood. And so he was getting ready to start oh, shooting me. And as I like, as I ran out to kill him, two more Archer Flood were just standing there, and they started destroying me. <laughs> Bro, I'm definitely cursed. Holy shit! I mean, my ass can't get any more clinched. Oh God, I'm in, port. I'm oh, in the fucking port. ship. Port. I'm in the ship. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, thank God! Unfreaking! <laughs> I had four flood fucking running at me. Oh my God! I said port. <sighs> oh. <sighs> at last, Halo. Only one mission left. And guess what? This mission was an absolute train wreck, too. I guess our nerves were just getting the best of us. And I'm getting chased right now. Just yeah, don't, just don't, don't overextend. Don't overextend yourself. Are you good? Yeah, I made it up. Oh my God, no way. Fuck! Missing that jump was quite costly, because now we have to clear a ton more enemies. That caused an early switch and made the tower clear a catastrophe. All right, rocking. Yeah, yeah go ahead. And... Oh, I can't even get it. Like I, I can't even get it. And you don't have rockets either. You you can't do anything. Oh fuck me. Did he just stand there now? I don't know. He's just standing there. And, you're not and Johnson is shooting. Right? Johnson is shooting. Thankfully, Johnson's AI came back, but guess what? Not a single bubble shield drop for the guilty spark fight. Not a big deal, right? Yeah, not a big deal. No problem. Easiest fight in the game, right? Except for the fact that I'm one shot. And Guilty Spark always targets the host. Our plan was to have Josh be one shot so I could dodge everything and us not have an issue. Shit. Okay, here we fucking go, dude. Jesus. Just keep jumping to the left and the right. Don't jump straight up. I know. Just don't jump in front of me. Don't jump in front of me. It's just three. You have to just dodge three. That's it. Just don't jump in front. In front of me, no! God, get away from me. Oh my God, dude. Shoots one more time. Shoots one more time. All right, that's Christ. it. Christ. Get running up there. Like, dude, come on. All right, let me leave this room. Just fucking sit back or something. He might still shoot you, so be fucking weary here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's shooting you. I know, I know. Keep dodging. Oh my god, I just do I just jumped through his fucking laser, and you missed. You fucking suck, kid. <laughs> you suck. God, dude, that fight is nerve-wracking when you're one fucking shot. <laughs> Holy shit. No, I'm not going to throw the turret. I know that I know that if you throw the turret after this, he kills you. I know that. I'm not throwing the turret. I know. <laughs> I am fucking aware. Yeah. Yeah. I survived that. But my seat didn't. My ass has completely eaten my seat. But... At least the run continues. All that's left is the final run. We were trying to take the choppers so that we could both shoot if we needed to, but of course, I went too far and clipped a load zone unintentionally. All right, don't go too far, please. Oh my God, go, go. I went too far. Oh my God, we gotta shoot shit. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm falling. Oh shit. And then... Boost, boost to the left. You gotta go left. You gotta go left. You, oh my god! I got, I got. We gotta switch. 
I know. Fuck. Just drive, just drive, 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 drive. Keep drive. boosting, Don't. keep boosting. Oh, so you can start fucking again. hit me. Okay. Don't, oh, no. no. To the right here, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's right here. One more. This part is gonna be fucking dog shit. I might die. This is gonna be close! I don't have a choice. Don't do it! Oh shit! No, go, 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 go! And that's it. We are home free! Yes! Oh, that was close! Holy shit, we fucking did it. <laughs> Personal best. Yes! Dude. Know, dude. <laughs> Give me that fucking money, baby. Oh, God. <sighs> All right. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video all the way through. It definitely means the world to me. Thank you very much. This challenge took us, I'd say, it was about a month, I want to say, to beat it. I'm pretty sure our minds were still a little scrambled because we underestimated Halo 2 Master Blaster so much, so this one we took a little bit more seriously. But uh, yeah, about a month, it was, it was pretty fun. We had some good times. So. Make sure that, uh, again, you guys like, subscribe, leave me a comment, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.